again? Huh? You said you could take me seven times. Dude, listen to yourself. You're talking on. I've had to talk to you as a friend. You're treating I just want to point something out here. Mitch Jones is the person that cut this, okay? He's the one who subtitled this. Like, I can't tell if, if Miskiff paid him for the good press or if this is a another designated classic Mitch Jones moment. Not realizing, like, this I don't think makes me look good. Not touching the Miskiff Mitch Jones drama, probably smart. Bro, what is there to touch? In the history, in the history of drama, has there ever been a moment where Mitch Jones actually came across as like correct? Like I've never seen a person come out and be like, I was assassinated. And then the entire, and then, and then make himself look horrible in the process. And then have every single person collectively turn around and be like, even people who are like, I hate Miskiff, but holy dude, you're such dumb. I've never... I, there is no one else that is as consistent as Mitch Jones at like seemingly finding a way to make himself look like the responsible party in every situation because he is honestly because he is it, it, like there is not even there is not even drama there because it's literally like like where's the drama it's such a funny it's such a funny moment because like like what happened with the Mitch Jones drama here I mean we can talk about that as well we can start with that one if you want. What happened with the Mitch Jones drama, as far as I understand it, is like almost identical. It's an almost identical parallel. Bro, it's like how even your haters championed you when you debated Tate. Yeah, there is an identical parallel to Mitch Jones last year or like two years ago at this point. I don't even remember here. We're blasting off, by the way. A couple years back, Mitch Jones, two years ago, last year. I don't know how many, how many uh, years ago. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, Was like, oh, yeah, like Hassan is like trying to eat my clout like he was just trying to like clout ride me and then he like stopped he would like constantly hit me up to like get clout from me and it's like so weird and then people for a brief moment because everybody was on their Hassan uh, boner they were like oh yeah is this correct so I looked back at our DMs and when I say our DMs I mean that doesn't even really do it justice it was mostly his DMs and there was not even a single moment where like, like he was just Con like I, I literally was so confused about what he was just saying and it was the exact opposite of what he was saying he was like constantly dming me and i was just like not really re uh, responding so yeah i mean here this is the austin ox uh, uh that's mitch jones edit he was talking like i should show you my dms with him you know in 2019 or whatever. like dude was like literally like just begging to be a part of the scene you know what i mean and then it's just like oh man yeah, and i, I fell know, for it he just switched up Oh, oh my God. Okay, that. The funniest part about this is also like Destiny's voice in the background being like, oh man, and I fell for it. And everyone probably spamming like, yeah, that's right, you did, lol. And it's like, no dog, ain't nobody was falling for nothing. Like, you know, it's just two f clown asses. Is and one. wild. Our DMs, as I showed earlier, is literally him reaching out to me in 2019. Yo, let's chill soon. How long are you out there? Week. Yo, you ball? Yeah, I'm down for whatever. I leave Saturday. I'm definitely trying to chill soon. Yo, how you been, bro? I was wondering if you're down to hop on a call sometime this week. I'm dropping my album on my birthday and need a little help. Would be dope if you watch party this. It will. Bro, I have like. I think I have like real and legitimate uh, brain rot of people in this community. Like, are you condoning physical assault? I don't understand his argument. So the argument here is it's okay to, for Miz to beat the shit out of Mitch because he lied about your DMs. This is not an argument, okay? Not everything is a f***ing argument. Why is, why is your life so full and so convoluted? It's just always like, ah, are you making an argument, sir? There is no logical conclusion to this. I have bested you in the marketplace of ideas. Like, shut the up dude jesus christ they want drama where there is none yeah dude is like 36 month subscribers just dick hard ready to f go cocked and loaded and is like wow dude it seems like you want mitch jones to die like no man i no i don't okay i want mitch jones to get better but every type every single time he comes out with some new shit it's always a continuation of the classic mitch jones struggle okay and it feels like because of this because of the way that he operates on low intensity lying and like things that are completely irrelevant, even in like small, even in like smaller circumstances, like what I'm talking about in a, in a joking manner, all the way to like much larger issues. He always portrays himself as the victim for some reason. And then 
fails to do so except for this one random 36 month subscriber who literally thinks that like misgive killed him or something will be good content for you and mean the world to me yo happy birthday man i don't know how old but we're like two days apart hope this year is the best g this is what i mean though this is like a classic saga okay the thing is the thing is like he's the rat king gonna assume he's lying and try to get a laugh out of it yeah i just like i, I feel like he's just looking for an opportunity to get like uh you know get something off of uh, all these people that like i think hold on to him and 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 try to help him out regardless of him being his own worst enemy and honestly at this point it's like that's what you got to do you just got to you got to dial it in okay you got to dial it in you got to lock it in mitch jones you're 32 years old dog dial it in lock it in fix your life a little bit fix your mentality a little bit you know that's my that's my perspective on this okay i don't even know the full details as far as what i saw is like uh mitch jones came out and was like miskiff assaulted me in the middle of the day out of nowhere out of the blue here's a video and then the video was like heavily edited okay and it's funny because it's like it's funny because uh <laughs> everyone was like wait you got assaulted like let's see the video and he was like i'm not gonna reveal the video and then the video got revealed anyway i think and it turns out he like pulls miskiff out of the car they're like having an altercation he openly admits that he's like both high and drunk if i'm not mistaken okay i might be getting some of these details wrong here but it's, it's literally like like what are you doing okay this happened in like september and he's like i'm coming clean i'm coming clean about my life about what happened like i don't want <laughs> i don't want miskiff to do this to anyone else <laughs> And it's like, what do you mean? You think he's going to be running around fucking <laughs> running around, giving rides to people that are just like f fucked up, zooted, trying to f fight him? Like, what are you talking about? Be careful or Miskiff will beat you up. First of all, on that front, I think y'all know what happened last time. <laughs> Miskiff and I <laughs> fought <laughs> as a joke. Okay, so I don't think I have issues on that front. I'm just kidding. Miskiff is a good wrestler. He probably wrestled the shit out of me me up if we wrestled <laughs> miskiff took an arrow to the knee or rather a knee to the chest um but uh, to be fair be fair i think getting into miskiff's car is the the real present danger uh, to your life i'll be honest it's like um <laughs> the way the way that motherfucker's driving like i think that's way way more dangerous than him like uh, beating the shit out of you apparently in a fight you got so much mass on him um is there a is there <laughs> He could have killed him. That's pure out of control rage and violence. They've heard a million jokes about them in the last three decades. They are not freshmen in the world of Twitch and comedy. He lost his mind. <laughs> I love that. That Judd Apatow tweet after um after the slap, after the Chris Rock uh Will Smith slap lives in my mind permanently. I can never stop. I think about that all the time. But yeah, I don't know. Does anyone have the fucking video or whatever? Like this is the this is the video of the altercation. <laughs> Iconic. What's this? This one? Yeah. Your politics suck. I get a kick. You want a kick? A kick? Yeah, sure. Lift up your legs. You're gonna lean back and extend your foot. Like that? Ooh. You kind of want to push him too while you do it. Aim a little bit more. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Teach him me. Oh, yes. I want you to come right here. You're gonna weigh heavy on him. Uh huh. You're gonna be up. I've never done this before. <laughs> this is gonna be so. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew is that, that okay? Uh. Miskiff allegedly drama alert. Miskiff allegedly beat up Mitch Jones bad. Mitch Jones made a video accusing Miskiff of physically abusing him into a concussion while Mitch was drunk. Bro, look at how fast that car comes. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh God. So this is the video, and it's like heavily edited, I guess. It's just like drama alert. Um, here. Want to do it again? Huh? You said you could take me seven times. You listen to yourself. You're drunk and on cocaine. I tried to talk to you as a friend. You're treating me like shit. You figured I'd kill myself. And all you can say. I just want to point something out here. Mitch Jones is the person that cut this. Okay, he's the one who subtitled this okay i i want you to understand something like this is supposed to be like you this is supposed to be like mitch jones is like oh you f killed me miskiff like how dare you kill me you i'm murdered i've been murdered by you he edited it subtitled it, it and in the subtitles like he's openly showing like i can't tell if if miskiff paid him for the good press 
or if this is a another designated classic Mitch Jones moment. Like, how were you typing? Like, he was typing in the subtitles, not realizing, like, this I don't think makes me look good, okay? You're going to get banned for showing this? Wait, why? Like, how is it that at any, that in no moment, wait, why would I get banned for, there's nothing TOS in this. I, I genuinely don't understand. I genuinely don't understand how he, like, basically, basically, he cut this video, edited it, shortened it to, like, show all the good stuff, I guess, subtitled it, it and at no point did he realize, like, shit, man, maybe this should stay in the drafts, because, like, I feel like this doesn't make me look good. But he subtitled, you're drunk and off cocaine in the middle of the day, okay? This is midday shit. There's a subtitle that he typed in to the footage that he released personally, voluntarily, that shows that he is in the middle of the day, 2 p.m. on a Tuesday, drunk as and zooted. <laughs> you should have used AI to make Miz say something else. <laughs> it's a filter. It's actually the middle of the night. Wait, what? No, it's not. What do you mean? What do you mean it's the middle of the night? Is, you think you could? What? There ain't no filter like that. And <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, why did he release that video? Especially that part of the video where like it, it literally, it literally feels like, like this is like PR, this is good PR for Miskiff almost like the way he, the way he released his footage makes it look like here is all the reasons I won't show you what happened. I won't show you like what led to the altercation. Okay. And the video that I will show you doesn't even show the fight. Okay. Doesn't even show the assault. I'm just going to tell you that I got assaulted. Okay. While also simultaneously, the only footage that I will release on it is still going to somehow make me look bad. If cops operated like Mitch Jones, we would abolish the police by now. Okay. Imagine like every body camera footage very clearly is like, I am doing this. Like if, if, like if cops wanted to release this kind of footage. Okay. And then like, basically every single time they showed their footage of like someone maybe even resisting arrest it showed that like the cops were in the wrong every single time it makes no sense so i don't really understand i i don't really i don't really get it i don't know you guys wanted me to address the drama but it doesn't seem like there's anything serious happening here but i do look this something something that i'm mentioning here uh it it, it is definitely it is definitely something that I think uh, this is the real part of this conversation, I guess. Like, look, a lot of people are really up. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people in the Twitch space are really, really up in the brain. Not me though. Okay. But everybody else. And to them, I say, get better, you know, get help. Betterhelp.com. <laughs> if you use my code word, no, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, dude, seriously. I think like, I, I think that there is, um, there are just a lot of people with like really toxic ass behaviors uh that that run rampant in the scene and i don't know i don't know you know i don't know i don't know what to say other than and to all the people that are just like basically looking at this at face value and being like oh dude like even people saying like oh miskip is like defending himself in this situation or all the people that are saying well you don't defend yourself by uh you know going ape shit and like beating the shit out of someone or whatever you just don't know anything about this circumstance okay you don't know anything about this situation you don't know anything about the background of these people you don't know the relationship or the dynamic uh, of these people whatsoever and even in that altercation that like uh, is supposed to make Mitch Jones look good like he doesn't even do a good job of presenting the case where it looks like he was you know attacked uh, unjustly by a dude who uh, was is giving you a ride back home in the middle of the fucking day when you're literally coked out and drunk, okay? Which is very odd. Twitch shouters absolutely think they know these people. Yeah, but if they knew the people or if they knew the background uh, a little bit better, they would not be saying the things that they're saying. It seems to me like they just read something or just have like uh, a perspective that they're leaning on heavily. The problem is he keeps mentioning he was punched multiple times, strangled and beat down while being knocked out. But in the video, he clearly just holds his face because he probably got punched one time. I don't know what happened with the altercation. Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what the extent of it was. Like for me, uh, Mitch Jones is like the IDF. You know what I mean? After the eighth time, 
that someone says something and it comes out to be like the exact opposite of the situation, I'm probably not going to fucking immediately take you at face value. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, okay, I agree with you. You know what I mean? All right. I guess you're right on this one. Even though all of the other like 40 different instances, you were just like completely misrepresenting the situation in a way that is literally the exact opposite of the situation and like makes you look bad as a matter of fact. And if you had not revealed this about yourself, it literally, no one would even know about it. Like I, that's why I started off the conversation with like, that's why I started off the conversation with the, with the classic uh, Mitch Jones, Austin Ox edit. Like even when it's something super low stakes, when it's just like lying for no reason about being like Hassan hit me up all the time in 2019 to like link up with the crew and he was just trying to like farm my clout. And it's, it turns out it's like literally the opposite. Straight up the opposite situation. It's like no one would have known about that. No one would have known about how embarrassing that is for you. You voluntarily chose to fucking lie for no reason. You know what I mean? And that's my thing that like that that's my that's the reason why it's like a little bit harder for me to like immediately listen to what he has to say. And, and be like, yeah, I'm sure he's in the right here. The real danger I think that Misgive put Mitch Jones in is the fact that he was driving. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put it back to that. So that sounds it. like a scam. <laughs> sounds like a scam. Uh, it most likely is a scam when it's Mitch Jones. <laughs> I can guarantee you he has no done uh, several things. Yeah, he has lied over and over again. So then we don't care. We support Misgive on this. This guy is the most Norwegian man I've ever seen in my life. I, we don't care. We support Miskiff on this. <laughs> I love him. What? Oh, it's so cute that Knut misses Tectone so much that he has a Norwegian version of Tectone. Okay. Like, does he have like a Norwegian version of Miskiff and a Norwegian Norwegian version of like uh, Wake? Like, does he have everybody? But in Norway with like their own versions, they're all like, that's right. I'm here, Knut, to farm the lols. You are very funny, <laughs> but I'm funnier. My view count has been lower. My view count has been lower than extra Emily this week. I don't like it. That's Norwegian misgive. <laughs> of course I would have done it. Even if it beat him up, it would have been well deserved almost. I'm just <laughs> Sorry for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. Like I said, I wish him well. I wish I wish Miss Jones well, bro. Please get help, dude. Dog, you gotta you gotta go to therapy. What the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Just go to therapy. Not a not a one stop shop. It's not gonna save everything. Okay. Um. You know, that's my suggestion. Everybody, everybody, go go subscribe to the Hassan Abi Rockets at the top of the hour to avoid the three minute ad break and also go get therapy. Okay. And, and try to fix your life a little bit. He could have, if you gave him your better help link, yeah, go to betterhelp.com and use the code word Hassan Abi for 50% off your first therapy purchase. Just kidding. I don't have a betterhelp.com sponsorship, but I do have a three minute ad break coming for you at the top of the hour with how many haters you have. You really should get a sponsorship with them. Dude. Imagine. I get all my haters to get therapy and then they're no longer so mentally ill and stalk me. That would be sick. Yeah. I hope that was a little bit more, um, eye opening for those who are watching or if you want to know what my take is, I feel like it's not like a very, uh, serious situation in and of itself, but the way that, uh, Midge Jones tried to present it, he tried to make it seem like it was a super serious situation. I didn't know Misgive had that dog in him. What do you mean, bro? Of course he has that dog in him. He's one from New Jersey. Okay. And two, from New Jersey, that's it. You automatically have that dog in you. If you are if you are from New Jersey, you got that dog in you. It's barking all the time, okay? Yeah, and also he wrestled too. BetterHelp offered free therapy to IDF soldiers, so maybe don't get a sponsorship from them. I love that that's the reason why you think I wouldn't get a sponsorship from BetterHelp, okay? That's pretty funny. Dude, BetterHelp offering free therapy to IDF soldiers is basically BetterHelp being pro Hamas, okay? <laughs> Fuck you mean, dog? Oh no, dude. After after lasering uh my eleventh seven year old Palestinian child, I called up my better help therapist to cry on a telehealth situation. Turns out it was artificial intelligence on the other side. And now I'm killing myself. Okay? That's like, what do you mean? The fuck do you mean, dog? This is the that's the least worst thing BetterHelp has done. Yeah, exactly. They're like BetterHelp secretly pro Palestinian emancipation. 
<laughs> one Israeli occupying force guy at a time. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are other reasons you shouldn't work with BetterHelp. Yeah. Like as though I was working with BetterHelp uh, from the jump. 